Hey, so I just got back from the doctor, the specialist doctor on AVN, and he basically said that I have moderate to worse than moderate um, AVN in both hips, which I kind of already knew, but he told me the severity of it. So, yeah, so basically he was like, you definitely need to get this procedure, it's like, before they would give you like an entire hip replacement, which hopefully I won't ever have to have because I would like to keep my own hips. Um, they like try to drill holes in the top of that bone, your your femur, and um, uh, yeah, so that should like improve circulation somehow. I don't know. I at some point in when you're hearing so many like medical things and doctors are telling you stuff once you like trust your doctors I'm just like okay yeah I'll do it like I believe you <laughs> so I don't know the details but that seems to be the thing and anyway so if that doesn't work then I would eventually probably have to get a hip replacement so let's just like hope that that works and um he also told me that on my right side, which is the one that's been hurting, I have a microscopic fracture. So I guess that means that it's like a little bit broken, um, but it's really small, but it really freaking hurts. <laughs> so cool. There's no like cast or anything. I mean, how can you cast your hip, but whatever. So yeah, that's my life right now. Also, he told me that I definitely should not be running. I guess I can walk. And um, that it's basically just like up to me and what I can take. Like, obviously, I know if I walk a ton and it's hurting, it's going to hurt really bad the next day. And the worse it gets before I can have the procedure, the more likely it'll be that I have to get a whole hip replacement instead. So I don't really want to do that. And he can't even get me in to do the procedure until like July or August. So I have all that time to try to not damage my hip any more than I have to. Um, so yeah, no more running, which sucks for me. <laughs> Um, but I can ride a stationary bike or I can swim, which just happen to be two things that I have never really done and don't really want to. So I'm going to have to deal with that. <laughs> but I guess at least there's something I can do to stay fit like I want to. So I guess that's cool that I can do something, but it's not really what I want to be doing. So that's just like a little bit frustrating and like... I'm so irritated and I usually don't make videos like right when something happens but I just feel like doing it right now and uh, I'm just so annoyed like I'm so angry and like other people I'm sure can understand this like when you have illnesses and things that like are just there's no one to blame like there's no one to be angry at like like when you get diagnosed with cancer it's like it's not like you did something, or I mean, in some cases, you probably, you might have caused it, like, smoking or whatever, but, like, I didn't do anything to get diagnosed with leukemia. I can't be mad at myself, because I have to live with that, and really, there's no way to tell how I got it, so I can't blame myself for things like that. I can't be mad at my parents, because I don't, I don't want to be, and it's not their fault either. I can't be mad at my doctors. They just saved my life. It's not their fault if it comes back or whatever. And, you know, like, I can't be mad at my doctors for causing my ABN because they made me take steroids. It's just, like, there's no one to place blame with. So it's just, like, there's no point in being angry. There's no point in being angry most of the time. But sometimes, you know, you just feel like, oh, like, why? Why is this happening to me? And there's there's no answer. <laughs> it's just happening. Why do I have to have cancer and then have something else? I don't know. Like, it's just my life. Cool. So, I don't know. I'm still, like, processing all of this stuff. It's just so... <sighs> like, I thought I was done. Like, I thought I was done with this crappy stuff. I thought I could, like, move on with my life now. So, I mean, 
things could definitely, definitely, definitely be worse. <laughs> but, you know, it sucks to, like, have something else, like, thrown in your way. And I was, like, you know, making strides. I was getting back exactly where I wanted to be. I was moving forward. I was, I was losing weight. I was gaining all my muscles back. And now it's, like, meh, 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 no. <laughs> So, limited movement. I'm probably going to end up getting crutches tomorrow. Not not to use all the time, but just in case um, on days when it might hurt like really bad and I need to do something like um, I'm going to be in Ireland and I don't want to have to, you know, not participate in things just because, you know, my hip hurts and we're going to be walking even longer or something like that. So, um, I'm going to have those just for if I need them, and that's kind of funny in itself. I, I keep thinking about, about things and thinking, I asked for this. Like, I wanted these things to happen, and not because, like, I wanted to get cancer and I wanted to have to deal with, you know, almost dying and the fear of dying and the, all these experiences that I've had. Like, I didn't want that, and obviously I didn't know that that was what was in store, but I always, like, wanted something to happen. And that's a bigger thing, like, I'll talk about that another time, but in relation to the crutches... I always, when I was younger, was jealous of the kids at school who, you know, had a cast or had crutches because, you know, they got all the attention and, like, that was so cool. They were, they were injured. Like, I don't know, whatever. This is, like, twisted, twisted me as a child, but I never, I never had that. And the one time I did, like, sort of hurt my arm, I had a, like, half cast, but it was just wrapped. It wasn't, like, a full cast. And I hated it. It was the worst. And after that, I was like, never mind, I'm over this. And then, even more, as I was getting older, like when I was a teenager, I was in competitive cheerleading. And the people who had injuries were like the most intense people. Like they were the best and they had injuries because they were working so hard and they wouldn't quit and whatever. So then it was like even cooler. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to have a brace too. Like, but... Now I'm like, I'm so dumb. Like, why? What's wrong with me? It's like, part of me is like, well, you should be excited that you're going to have crutches now. You should be excited that you have this injury because, yeah, now you're rad. You're cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's just like, it's just too funny. I can't... <laughs> I can't even put into words. Like, I hope other people are watching this and are like, I get you. Like, I feel you. I understand. Like, sometimes it's just so frustrating. Because there's no, like, there's no answer. There's no solution. You just never know, like, what's going to, what's coming at you. I'm sure tomorrow and over the next few days, like, I'll get it together and I'll feel better. And I'm going to go off to Ireland and I'm going to have a great time. And I'm going to read the fault in our stars and hopefully like it and everything will be better when I get back but right now I just just like what else <laughs> what next I'm ready give it to me <laughs> whoever whatever is making it happen Ugh. all right thanks for watching I hope I didn't scare <laughs> everyone away um but yeah I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.